Ever wonder how to become self-sufficient? Today we'll explore that. In our fast-paced, consumer-driven world, the concept of self-sufficiency is not just a throwback to simpler times, but a key to unlocking a more sustainable and fulfilling life. By embracing self-sufficiency, you're not only reducing your dependence on external systems, but you're also taking a stand for the earth, for your health, and for your wallet. In this video, we'll be breaking down the journey towards self-sufficiency into manageable, easy-to-follow steps. We'll be discussing everything from the mindset you need to the practical skills you'll learn and all the way to the benefits you'll enjoy. We'll talk about starting small, utilizing space for gardening, exploring alternative energy sources, conserving resources, and more. So whether you're looking to go completely off-grid or if you just want to take a few steps towards a more sustainable lifestyle, this video has something for you. Stick around to learn how you can achieve self-sufficiency. The journey to self-sufficiency begins with the right mindset. Embarking on this journey requires more than just a desire for independence. It demands patience, resilience, and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. It's about understanding that success won't happen overnight, and that's all right. Patience is your best ally, guiding you through the journey at a pace that's right for you. Resilience is also key. There will be challenges and roadblocks along the way, but with resilience, you'll see them as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. It's about picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and pressing on, no matter how tough the going gets. But perhaps the most significant part of the self-sufficiency mindset is the willingness to learn. It's about embracing new skills, from gardening to animal husbandry, from DIY projects to financial management. It's about constantly expanding your knowledge base and becoming a lifelong learner. This journey also calls for a shift in lifestyle, a move towards more sustainable practices. It's not just about independence, it's about living in harmony with our planet, making choices that benefit not just us, but future generations as well. With the right mindset you are well on your way to becoming self-sufficient. You don't have to change everything overnight, start small. That's the mantra to remember when embarking on the journey towards self-sufficiency. You might think, where do I even begin? Well, it's as simple as growing your own vegetables or making your own cleaning products. Yes, you heard it right. Start with small changes like these. For example, instead of buying tomatoes, why not plant some in your backyard or even in a pot on your balcony? It's a rewarding experience, seeing the fruits of your labor, quite literally. And how about making your own cleaning products? Not only does this reduce reliance on store-bought goods, but it also helps in reducing waste and harmful chemicals in your home. With a few basic ingredients like vinegar, baking soda, and essential oils, you can whip up a cleaner that's effective, natural, and economical. These might seem like small steps, but over time they can have a significant impact. Imagine the amount of money you can save, the waste you can reduce, and the skills you can learn. Plus, there's the added satisfaction of being able to provide for yourself and your family. So, take it one step at a time. Don't rush. Learn, grow, and enjoy the process. Remember, every journey starts with a single step. Got some space? It's time to get your hands dirty. Whether you're blessed with a sprawling backyard or you're making do with a petite patio, every inch counts when you're striving for self-sufficiency. And the magic lies in utilizing that space wisely. So, let's kick things off with container gardening. This is a versatile method that can be adapted to spaces of all sizes. From herbs to tomatoes, a variety of plants can thrive in containers, not to mention they're portable. You can move them to catch the sun or bring them indoors when the weather turns chilly. But what if you're short on horizontal space? This is where vertical gardening comes into play. With a bit of creativity, walls, fences, and even balcony railings can be transformed into lush green spaces. Vertical gardens are not just about aesthetics, they're about maximizing space and yield. You'll be surprised at how much you can grow in a small area with the right vertical setup. Now, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, why not try out some other space-saving techniques? Square foot gardening, for example, is a method that involves dividing the growing area into small square sections. The aim is to grow a variety of crops in each section, maximizing yield in a minimal space. It's a fantastic way to make the most of a small garden or raised bed. And let's not forget about companion planting. This technique involves growing different plants together, each benefiting the other in some way. It's a natural way to deter pests, encourage growth and improve yield. Plus, it's a great way to make the most of your space. But remember, a garden is more than just a collection of plants. It's a living, breathing ecosystem. And it's up to you to create a healthy, sustainable environment for your plants to thrive in. So, 
don't be afraid to experiment, learn, and grow along with your garden. A green thumb is a step closer to self-sufficiency. Ever thought about harnessing the power of the sun or the wind? Let's dive into the world of alternative energy sources. These renewable resources are not only abundant and free of charge, but they also significantly reduce our carbon footprint, making them a key factor in achieving self-sufficiency. First on our list is solar power. It's an energy source that's been available since the dawn of time, and now we can tap into it more efficiently than ever before. With solar panels, you can capture the sun's energy and convert it into electricity to power your home, your electric car, or even your garden lights. And the best part? Once you've set up the system, the energy you generate is absolutely free. Next up is wind power. Much like solar power, wind energy is a clean, renewable source that can be converted into electricity. Wind turbines, big or small, can be used to generate power, especially in areas with consistent wind patterns. They may require a bit more space than solar panels, but the payoff can be substantial. We also have hydropower, a method of generating electricity through the movement of water. If you have a stream or a river running through your property, a small-scale hydroelectric generator could be a viable option for you. And let's not forget about biomass, an organic material that comes from plants and animals, which can be converted into energy. This includes wood, crops, and even waste materials. It's a great way to recycle and repurpose natural resources, turning what would otherwise be waste into something valuable. Lastly, there's geothermal energy which utilizes the Earth's natural heat. While it may not be feasible for everyone due to geographical limitations, those who can tap into this resource will find a stable and consistent source of energy. By exploring and harnessing these alternative energy sources, we're not only moving towards self-sufficiency, we're also contributing to a sustainable future. Remember, with alternative energy, you're not just saving money, you're saving the planet. Conservation isn't just about saving the earth, it's about self-sufficiency. This statement rings true and carries more weight than we often realize. Resource conservation is an integral part of being self-sufficient, and it's about more than just turning off the tap while brushing your teeth. Let's start with water conservation. Water is a precious and finite resource. Conserving water doesn't merely mean reducing water usage, but also involves reusing and recycling wherever possible. For instance, rainwater harvesting can provide an alternative, sustainable source of water for your garden or household needs. Gray water systems can repurpose water from your shower or washing machine to irrigate plants. Every drop counts when it comes to water conservation, but it doesn't stop at water. Waste management plays a crucial role in resource conservation. The mantra of reduce, reuse, recycle should be at the forefront of our minds. Reducing our waste output might involve composting organic waste to enrich our garden soil or choosing to buy in bulk to minimize packaging. Reusing could mean repurposing items rather than discarding them and recycling should be a last resort when an item has served its purpose and cannot be reused. Recycling, however, is more than just separating paper and plastic. It's about recognizing the inherent value in all resources and understanding that nothing should go to waste. Have you considered that old wooden pallet could be your next bookshelf? Or those glass jars could be perfect storage containers? It's all about seeing the potential in what others might see as waste. Conserving resources is a mindset. It's about acknowledging the finite nature of our resources and choosing to act responsibly. It's about making the most of what we have and reducing our reliance on external systems. And yes, it's about saving the earth, but it's also about empowering ourselves. When you conserve, you're taking a step toward self-sufficiency. And that, my friends, is a step worth taking. Ever thought about building your own table or fixing your own car? The idea might seem daunting, but developing do-it-yourself skills can be a game-changer in your journey towards self-sufficiency. Imagine the satisfaction of creating something with your own hands, knowing that every nail, every brush stroke, every tightened screw was your own doing. DIY is more than just an economical alternative. It's an empowering activity that taps into our inherent human instinct to create, to adapt, and to solve problems. DIY skills can range from simple tasks like sewing a button or fixing a leaky faucet, to more complex projects like building furniture or installing solar panels. The key is to start small and gradually challenge yourself with more complex projects. There are countless resources available such as online tutorials, books, and community workshops where you can learn these skills. Now let's talk about the financial sustainability aspect. When you take on tasks yourself, you're not only saving on the cost of hiring a professional, but you're also investing in a valuable skill set. 
this can lead to significant savings over time, and even open up opportunities for additional income. For instance, your newfound carpentry skills could turn into a side business building custom furniture, or your knack for fixing things might lead to a neighborhood repair service. Moreover, learning to repair instead of replacing items promotes a sustainable lifestyle. It reduces waste and helps you appreciate the value of things, fostering a culture of care and longevity. In essence, DIY skills are about more than just self-reliance and saving money. They're about cultivating a sense of accomplishment, independence, and resourcefulness. They're about strengthening your connection with the physical world and finding joy in the process of creation and repair. With DIY skills, you're not just saving money, you're becoming self-sufficient. So, are you ready to become self-sufficient? We've covered a lot of ground today, and it's clear that the path to self-sufficiency is a journey that requires a shift in mindset and a commitment to sustainable living. The essence of self-sufficiency lies in understanding that it's not just about survival, but about thriving in harmony with nature and taking control of our resources and our life. Starting small is the key to success. It's about taking those initial steps towards independence, whether it's planting a small herb garden or installing a solar panel for your electricity needs. Every small step matters and contributes to a bigger picture of self-reliance. The space around us offers immense possibilities. A patch of land can be transformed into a thriving garden providing fresh and healthy food year-round. When it comes to energy, the sun, wind, and water are our allies. Harnessing these alternative energy sources not only reduces our dependence on non-renewable sources but also contributes to a healthier planet. Resource conservation is at the heart of self-sufficiency. It's about making the most of what we have and reducing waste. Remember, every drop of water saved, every bit of compost created brings us closer to our goal. And of course, the importance of DIY skills and financial sustainability cannot be overstated. Being able to fix things around the house, grow your own food, and manage your finances effectively are all crucial aspects of leading a self-sufficient life. The road to self-sufficiency may seem daunting, but remember, it's a journey, not a destination. It's about learning, growing, and becoming more in tune with the natural world around us. Remember, the journey to self-sufficiency is a journey worth taking. Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more interesting videos.